guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I decided I would test a bunch of new makeup products. Now, these are not new on the market, but they are new to me. So, I went ahead and purchased all of this on your recommendation. I took these recommendations on Instagram. So, if you're not following me there, please do because I keep asking y'all what sort of content y'all want to see and make videos on those lines so y'all enjoy what I put out. Uh, so I also want to put out a disclaimer that I've recorded this video before. This is the second time I'm sitting to record and test these products out. I record the entire footage and in the whole video Fudge was either barking in the background or playing or chewing on some plastic. So it was a lot of disturbance that I could not get rid of and that's why I decided I would film it all over again. So since that was a first impression, this is clearly not. It's already been used and it's more of a review. So I'm first reviewing the product then showing you a demo and we will roll like that. So if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. Okay guys, so let's dive into the video. But just before we dive into the video, I want to say that I'm going to change the order of my makeup a little. I'm going to first start with eyeshadow. Since I've already tested these products before, I know that this eyeshadow does have a little bit of a fallout and it's difficult to get rid of. So first, let's get done with the eyes and I'll give you all my input as we go along with the video. Uh, I don't have the unicartons to all these products because after I filmed the video last time, I threw away all the unicartons just like I always do. And so for today's review, I don't have the unicartons. So this is the first product we are testing. This is the Nykaa Just Wing It Eyeshadow Palette. This is in the shade Crown. Berries and the color scheme looks something like this. It was one of my favorite color schemes from all of their palettes because it had a lot of warm tones going on, like in the brown section, and a lot of mauves going on. There are a total of five shimmers, and I think the rest of them are all mattes. There are 12 shades in total, so I think that's a good deal. The pan size is also decent enough, and it's a nice square, so your eyeshadow brush can like fit in really well. Also, there's a good quality full-size mirror on the top of this palette and it came with a very lousy brush over here. I will show you all that in a minute. So that was all about the palette. The brush that it came in with was this one and these are those uh, silicone uh, cloth brushes that nobody really uses and I think makeup brands need to realize that this is a waste and either make the pan sizes bigger by not putting this or just give a better brush. Uh, one more thing I wanted to mention, my first impression on this palette when it came in the mail was how small it was. It is the size of my palm, that is how small it is. From Instagram stories of different influencers and even Nykaa, I felt it was a much bigger eyeshadow palette. Especially even for the price, I felt it would be bigger. Now the size gives you one advantage that it is great to travel with. So if you buy a palette which is right up your alley because there are so many shades to select from. There's a peach sorbet which is more of an orange sunset sunrise vibe. This is somewhere more of a berry tone, also mauve, also brown vibe. Those two were my favorite, peach sorbet and crushed berries. Then there's double chocolate chip for your basic neutral girl, office going girls or even who like warm tone neutral tones on a daily basis. Uh, so there are a lot of like five eyeshadow palettes to select from and if you like what you select you can travel with it because it's a compact size also comes with a mirror in it so you're good to go with just this one palette. So that's the advantage of the size. The other thing is that the pan size is also fine. Yes, and you know it's long and very thin that your eyeshadow brush will not fit in. So all in all the packaging is good. It's not bad in any way. The plastic, the matte, everything really good quality. The eyeshadows, since I've already tested them out, I have a few things to say about them. Now, what I feel from the claims Nykaa makes is that they do blend very easily. These eyeshadows are not difficult to blend at all. The second thing I want to say is that the eyeshadows are not that pigmented. Now, when I say not that pigmented, I don't mean that they don't show up on your eyes. It's just that it takes a lot of time to show up on your eyes. So if you're going in with one particular shadow, you'd have to go in too many times back and forth, back and forth to build up that color. Now this can be an advantage for those who are beginners and who've never used eyeshadow. That you get a good time, milta hai. you can blend it, you can really work it in. But also on the other side, you end up wasting a lot of shadow. Bohat sara fof, fof, okay, like you know, it's just getting wasted. The third thing I want to say is there isn't a lot of kickback. You won't see like a lot of powdery fallout on the eyeshadow palette. The most fallout you will get is from the shimmers. Fourth thing I want to say is that the shimmers don't have that much of a wow element to them. Like they are velvety, they are not powdery or dusty, but 
once they go on on your eyes you feel oh my god wow but the next minute you'll have a lot of fallout and that wow element kind of wavers away so i didn't i wasn't completely or totally impressed with the shimmers of this palette even the champagne shade i want to talk about the last time i used these two this on my eyelid and this champagne in the inner corner and even then my inner corner was not the brightest and most attractive and this is the lightest shade in the palette so if you go to see there isn't a good brow bone or inner corner highlight in this eyeshadow palette per se so i think i've put in all my thoughts into these points and now let's dive into the eyeshadow palette and you all can see how it performs on my eyes so you all can justify for yourself everything that i have said just now i'm going to quickly prime my eyes using the nyx eyeshadow base this is in the shade uh, 03 yeah straight diving straight in i'm going to start with this eyeshadow first This is a nice mauvey pink, so I'm going to use it on my crease, taking it on a fluffy blending brush, and blending it into my crease all over the lid and in my crease, laying it as a base eyeshadow. Okay, like the most amazing YouTuber that I am. I forgot to zoom you all in, but never too late. I've just built my crease up, nothing, just going in with swipe motions. Since I'm doing my eyes first, I'm not really caring about the mess I'm making because foundation will cover it all. I've still gone in three, four times, so this is what I was talking about: building the eyeshadows up really, really well for them to show up on your eyes. Next, I'm taking this hot pink color and trying to go on the crease a little lower. I didn't end up using this color the last time, so I thought I'll give it a try this time. Taking them, taking it on a pack one, two, two brush. It's a more tapered blending brush. Since I used this pink eyeshadow last time, I want to give this darker one a try this time. So let's go in with this one. Also, if you guys want to see uh, that tutorial, also the look I did the last time I used this eyeshadow palette without fudges noise in it, let me know in the comments. I will try to mute the noise and put it up as an IGTV video if that's okay with you. So let me know in the comments. I'm first gonna go in with my finger because that's the best way to use your shimmers. See, like I said, the shimmer doesn't have a much of a wow element, you know, like really poof showing up on your eyes, steps. And last time I used Fix Plus and didn't really go down that well. Blending was really tough, so I don't recommend using a setting spray to try to get these eyeshadows to show up more because it won't work. Okay, I feel like the eyes don't have any dimension because all the three colors became very similar to each other. So to add a little bit of dimension, I'm going to take this pink color and try to put it just in the between. Taking just a flat brush from Amazon, putting it just in the center. Just to add a little bit of halo dimension sort of to that. So so far this is what the eyes look like. I think I like them a lot more than what I did last time. Uh just because I feel I knew the palette better, I worked with it better. So I think it takes some time to get used to products. Uh so for the next step I'm going to go off camera, do my lashes, mascara, eyeliner, all of that jazz and be right back so that we can get on with new products for the base. Okay guys, so we are done with the eyes. I will make sure that I mention everything else that I'm not uh using on camera but i've applied on my eyes in the description section so make sure you all check that out the lashes the mascara and everything else okay so for the next product that we are testing out these are a couple of new sponges on the market this is by the brand called plume and co and they did send this to me in pr and i did an entire unboxing session on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram make sure that you do because i try to unbox and give mini and short reviews up on instagram so i will leave my handle here Now diving right into these sponges. These are the two sponges that Plum and Co has sent to me. Uh, these are microfiber velvet sponges. Like you can see, I've already used them in the previous video and also in a couple of videos I shot after that video because I have really been enjoying working with these sponges. Now I'll tell you the unique features about this. Something that I found very interesting. One that it is made out of microfiber velvet. Like it's a regular sponge, but it's coated with a microfiber velvet. So it has a very fuzzy, uh, small hair-like feeling, like you know how um, 
वेलवेट वेलवेट जैसा लगता है वैसा ही इट फील्स एंड इट्स वेरी वेरी सॉफ्ट एंड कंफर्टेबल ऑन द स्किन सो आई एम नॉट अ बिग फैन ऑफ इंडियन मेकअप स्पंजेस इफ यू सी ऑन माई चैनल आई ऑलवेज यूज इको टूल्स एंड रियल टेक्निक समथिंग दैट्स अवेलेबल अब्रॉड आई ट्राई टू और आस्क माई रिलेटिव टू गेट इट वेन दे कम यूर आई डोंट इन्वेस्ट इन इंडियन स्पंजेस बट सिंस दे सेंड दिस टू मी आई वॉज सो सो इंट्रेड दैट दिस वॉज सच गुड क्वालिटी फॉर दिस बींग अ स्टार्ट अप कंपनी आई डेंट एक्सपेक्ट मच फ्रॉम इट आई थॉट इट वुड जिस बी रेगुलर स्पंजेस बट इट परफॉर्म जस्ट एज जस्ट एज गुड एज माई रियल टेक्निक स्पंज इफ नॉट इवन बेटर बिकॉज दिस गिवस अ लॉट ऑफ कवरेज एंड आई एम नॉट जस्ट सींग दिस बिकॉज दिस सेंड दिस टू मी इन पी आर is a huge difference when something comes to you in pr and when something is sponsored they didn't expect me to talk good about the product or anything from it. it's whole heartedly my honest review like you all know i think by now you all need to trust me about that if i would recommend just one among these two i would recommend this one because i found this super super squishy and this a little stiff as compared to this one although i felt i would be more comfortable with the shape of this now this has a more round bottom while this has a flat or bottom and this has a more a uh, squarish rectangle sort of cut over here and this has a more drop cut over here like a uh, what is this called a drop shape yeah a drop shape cut like i said they have microfiber in it so they are supposed to not pick up any excess makeup product like not pick up too much of your foundation like when you use a sponge with your foundation a lot of the makeup gets soaked in the sponge and not that much on your face so you end up wasting a lot of your makeup so that's the reason they've come out with this so that your sponge does not eat up a lot of your expensive foundation and the last time i used it i used it with the nyx foundation and that you know is a very expensive foundation for very little quantity and i got superb coverage with it and i ended up using only two drops of the foundation to cover not just my entire face but also my neck so i was supremely impressed and only like one little patch over your soaked up foundation so it's not like it will not soak up at all it will just soak up a little less than what your usual sponge would so that that one feature really really impressed me does not leave any patchiness does not leave any sponge marks or streaky marks on your face so all in all a real real good product on the indian market these retail for 850 rupees not together individually for 850 rupees both of them uh, but they do run offers quite a lot i follow them on instagram and they have had this rakhi offer going on and they keep having offers so i will leave their shopping link below just as i will leave everything else ka link below and you all can check them out if you all are interested to get some good quality sponges i think the sponge makes the world for difference to your base routine because if you have good squishy sponge you can bounce your foundation to flawlessness and your base looking good is your makeup looking good so and a good sponge can last you like an entire year i use my real technique sponge for the whole year and then the next year when somebody is going abroad i ask them to bring one for me a makeup sponge is always a good investment so let's dive into the foundation and show you all how this performs since i used the nyx one last time i want to try the nykaa one this time i'm taking a little bit on my hand and we'll go little by little because like i said it gives you a lot of coverage Also I am more comfortable using the rounded side of both of the sponges not the flatter side because the rounded rounded side bounces better the flatter side is good for applying powders I'm being so careful with this like I'm taking a cake drop anyways I put very little at the back of my hand because I know for a fact that it will give me too much coverage way more than i need in one particular area okay so i have ended up using everything at the back of my hand that was one squeeze of the nykaa foundation and covered my entire face to full coverage dragged it down my neck took it on my ears so it's all good to go i really like how much coverage it provides me for very little foundation and like you can see it's just tinted the microfiber is not really gone right inside and soaked up product does go a little bit to thoda sa idhar jo hai that has gone inside but not too much this continuous packaging is real life hazarda just squeeze some and went right inside my eye ball Okay, again going in with the sponge, trying to use the flatter end for blending this time because I've already used this one for foundation. Mm. 
Okay, so the next new product I have to test out is also something I'm really excited about. This is the Swiss Beauty Drop and Glow. This is what it looks like. It looks awful lot like the Cover FX or Drop Highlighters, the liquid highlighters by Cover FX. Once again, I do not have the Unicartan for this, but even the Unicartan looked an awful lot similar to the Cover FX Unicartan. So I think Swiss Beauty has something going on right there. You guys told me to review more of Swiss Beauty products, so I ended up buying this. And I got the shade light brown, which in the bottle looks an amazing copper color. There were a lot of shades to choose from, and I was very excited to try light brown because it would suit my skin. But because I've tried this before, I know that it's very, very light to be light brown. It leaves a sort of a stripe on my face because my skin tone is much darker. I needed something more warm in my highlight. So I think I should go something even more darker but I just want to say that for light brown this shade is a little deceptive but quality wise it is so freaking good I cannot I'm going to take some at the back of my hand like just one drop the consistency is good it's not thick it's not too runny it's a little bit thick it's a good liquid and it's very blinding they so gonna take the blue one uh, sponge and take the sharp end of this just dunk a little bit and go since it's so blinding, go with a very light hand, you might overdo this very soon on your face. And always use liquid highlighter before you powder your face because I made the mistake last time and it wasn't blending really well. But just look at how glowy and blinding it is. For 250 rupees, what more do you want? Like the cover effects one is 3000 and I'm not saying it's okay to uh, copy another brand especially such a huge brands of packaging and product idea but the quality of this is something commendable also you can mix this with your foundation to make your foundation look extra luminous uh, but you should take very little because this is how much I'm ending up wasting so I'm going to quickly wipe this off for the next step that is setting my under eyes and my uh, powdering my face, I have a new powder to test out. So this is the Mini Pony Invisible Fix Powder by Miniso. This is in the shade 03 Warm Nude which is the darkest shade there is. Again, before the last video I had never tested this Miniso powder out. Uh, it does come with a sifter, a very good quality sifter, the net one. So you get a really controlled amount of powder and you don't end up wasting too much. Uh, also, I did test it out in the last video and I did actually really end up liking it as a first impression. There was something I was finding a little bit um, a grey undertone it was giving me. So let's try it again today and see how it works. I'm going to take it with a brush this time, the e.l.f. Uh, powder brush. going to just dunk a little bit, dust off the excess and out of my face. It's a really, really finely milled powder. Again, Miniso makeup products are really inexpensive. That's the reason I wanted to include it. Trying to stay clear of the highlighter so that the glow remains and just powder the rest of my face very lightly. Actually, I do really like it. I don't find the greying today at all. I don't think the greying is there. I think that day just my under eyes were not having a good day and so the greying was present like the grey undertone. Uh, let's take a flash photo and see if this um, powder gives any flashback. That's my phone. Okay, so no flashback at all. I'm gonna insert the selfie right here so you all can see too. There is no flashback, that means you can actually use this for night time and everything. Okay, so I think so far I'm done testing out all the base products I had for y'all. I'm going to go off camera and quickly put on some blush, bronzer and some powder highlighter and be right back. Okay, you guys, so we are nearing the end of the video. We are just left with our lower lash line and uh, lips. So, first I'm going to quickly take the e.l.f. crease brush and take the Nykaa eyeshadow palette again. Going with the same shade I did in the crease, that is this mauve and a little bit of a dark brown to like smoke out my lower lash line. And now just very very close to my lash line, I'm gonna take this dark brown and place it closer to my lash line. Quickly gonna throw on some Nykaa IM24 by 7 Kajal. Taking some mascara on my lower lash line, this is the essence one. 
Okay, so for the last product of this entire new makeup video, I have the Iba Halal Lipstick. Now, Iba Halal is a brand again, you all recommended me to try out and when I checked them out in Nike, I found out that all of their products are halal. That means they are vegan, cruelty free and all of that. And also, uh, they have breathable nail polish, which is a great thing because halal nail polish would mean that you can wear it and pray. Uh, which if you didn't know the Muslim girls cannot really put nail polish on their nails and pray So I only end up putting nail polish when I have to record on the weekends or if I'm like on my period when I really can't pray Which is the case right now. So uh, You can use that halal nail polish and breathable nail polish do your wazoo and pray and that's a great thing I think it's super innovative and super inclusive uh, because now I think even the girls who pray every day can put on nail polish that is great so I'm gonna test out the lipstick this time and next time uh, when I do a haul I'm gonna try to when I get rid of this nail polish try to get the Ibahalal nail polish and see if they are actually good quality and all also and let you all know maybe on Instagram so do follow me there uh, this lipstick again because I've used it before I know that it's a little sheer it's not just as pigmented as I would like it to be so I'm going to use a lip liner underneath and I'm using my Faces Cafe Latte Lip Liner. A lot of y'all keep asking me what is the exact shade of the Cafe Latte Lip Liner. So this is it. Just have a look now. So this is what the color of the Faces Cafe Latte looks like. I find it very universal because on every single dusky dark skin girl, this would be a nice lip color to just neutralize or uh, a lip liner to just neutralize your lip color and um, give you a nice base for any lipstick that washes you out. So I always keep this with me. This is just 300 bucks, the lip contour in Cafe Latte by Faces. So I will leave the link if I find it on Nike or Amazon in the description section. Um, and then going in with Cinnamon Chai by Iba Halal. So as you can probably tell, this is a very very neutral colour but a very pretty one at that. Uh, it is from their, if I'm not sure, matte lipstick range but it's still pretty moisturising and very sheer. So keep that in mind, it's very affordable again, 260 250 somewhere the price of that. I will make sure I leave all the links to all of these products that I purchased and even the plume sponge which was PR in the description section. I think PR is so much more comfortable to be able to review so many new brands. So I'm so grateful that plume actually reached out to me. I'm a small YouTuber, I'm not that big. And uh, thank you for reaching out to me, selling me your products. I genuinely really liked them. And also the other products, I think I was super impressed with everything. I just feel that the Nike eyeshadow palette should have been a little cheaper. Like Pandraso is too much for the size, for the pan size and even the quality, the shimmers could have been a little more wow. Like I didn't even uh, highlight my inner corner and brow bone because I feel like there's no colour in the palette that would do that for me. Uh, I never tell brands what to price it at but I felt it was a little steep. That's why it took me so much time to acquire it because I had to put my money into it and Nika doesn't really send me PR though to be able to save up enough to buy an eyeshadow palette because it wasn't the need of PR I have tons of eyeshadow palettes with me already which have the similar shade combination anyway anywho I liked everything I'm super impressed with everything in this haul I gave you all, all my review it wasn't a first impression like I hoped it would be but it was a review I hope you guys enjoyed if you all did please show your support by hitting the like button so I know that I have to do more of these kind of videos and if you're new here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. All my videos are super honest. I make videos every Sunday. So click on the notification bell so you're notified every Sunday when I upload a new video. I will see you guys in my next one. Until then, take care. Bye. Love you all.